So A-B testing. A-B testing is the, uh, it's a little bit of a misnomer. Uh, how it's used in the real world is uh, you can test all manner of combinations uh, on a website uh, to improve a particular metric. Uh, let's call that metric, you know, the number of seconds that you're on a site. And you may have several things that you want to change about that website. The color of the page, uh, whether there are check boxes or drop downs, uh, whether there are round buttons or square buttons. Um, you can, it, to test each of those combinations individually, it might take you a really long time. Uh, but with A-B testing technology, uh, you can quickly uh, swap through all of those combinations and find out uh, which of those pieces um, yields the best performance. How it's done is basically a piece of JavaScript is inserted into a web page, and when the page renders, uh, for each user in real time, uh, all of those combinations are swapped through. So you might have some users that see a green page and a round button and check boxes, and the next user might see a blue page with uh, round buttons and check boxes. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you get an output of, um, let's say that performance metric, the number of seconds that somebody's on your web page, for each combination of all the variables that were moving at the same time. Now, to really know if a round button versus a, a square button uh, is the reason that people are staying longer on your site, you have to normalize for all of the other factors. And, and that's really at the core of A-B testing is that you are comparing two things while everything else is held constant. Now, normalizing is only part of the process. You really have to uh, uh, take into account the variability of of the estimates, because these are just estimates. If you're exposing half of your users to um, a certain experience, another half of your users to another experience, um, the estimate of each of those two pools may be different when you expose 100% of your traffic to one of those. Uh, so th things like an average and a standard deviation become really important when you're talking about A-B testing. So that's it. A-B testing is basically uh, being able to quickly iterate through all the different combinations that are out there. Um, uh, the fact that you have to normalize for uh, competing factors. Uh, the fact that you have to take into account standard deviations. And that's pretty much it. The most common tools available are test and target and something called load balancing, which is done for free. And that's it.